Right then. Our worst nightmares happened. We arrived in Vietnam and one of our suitcases didn't. In this video, we're going to give you 12 tips to ensure that firstly, your luggage won't go missing, but in the unfortunate event that it does, what will give you the best chance of actually getting your luggage back. Yeah, so make sure you watch to the end of this video because all these tips are really, really important. So let's talk about the things that you need to do before you actually leave home. The first one, number one, is take photos of your luggage and make sure that you've got the photos on both of your phones and other gadgets so that should your luggage go missing you've got a picture that you can physically show someone because describing a colour like green or blue or is in the eyes of the beholder is something completely yeah. different. I've got a black suitcase with wheels on isn't a lot of good when you're trying to find a suitcase, especially if there's a room full of suitcases. Exactly. And if you've got any specific identifiers on that suitcase, make sure you take a photo of those too, because this is really, really important because you will need this when your luggage goes missing. Number two, luggage tags, sturdy luggage tags with a good wire attachment. It unscrews there, screws back up, so you can put it through the handle of your case. It's got your name there, but when you slide that piece of paper out, it's got all your details. This is absolutely vital. Yeah. Also, make sure you carry spares in your luggage or your hand luggage so that if one falls off, you can replace it. Number three. <laughs> yes. Stickers. From your previous travels, you may have stickers or barcodes or old labels on there. Make sure that they're all taken off so there's no confusion uh, with the baggage handlers should your luggage go missing. Because no, sometimes there are scanners that are used to pick stuff up and as it's going down those little escalatory things to go to the baggage handlers, if it picks up like a rogue barcode, it could go anywhere. So ensure that the only thing that's hanging off your case when you check it in is your own personal identification. Number four, before you leave home, make sure you put your contact information inside your case. So if someone does open it to find out if there's any, uh, if your label's fallen off and you need some ID, it's got your name, your phone number and your address. And just pop that in the middle of your case um, so it's easily visible should someone open it. Number, number five. five. When you're packing your cases, especially if you're traveling as a couple, Always split your stuff between the two cases, half of yours, half of your wife's. I'm amazed at how many people we speak to that don't do that. It's like, oh no, it's my suitcase and it's her suitcase. But if one of the suitcases go missing, you're going to look pretty silly when you're walking around in your wife's dress for the first week of the cruise. So just, is this ever so easy? Split your clothes, split your toiletries. Another good idea is to make sure you put obviously some spare clothes and your toothbrush and that in your hand luggage. Some people just say, well, I put a spare outfit in my husband's case or a spare outfit in my wife's case. But as Paul just said, make sure you split in half and half. Our case was missing for five days, so we needed a obviously change of clothes. Clothes? Clothes. <laughs> but splitting your luggage and your clothes is, is really, really important. Number six. Now, this is another strange one, and we were talking to somebody about this only yesterday, and they said, oh my God, that's such a good idea. How many times have you picked your case up and there's a crack in it, or there's a split in it, or there's a wheel hanging off? So we always, always, always pack Gorilla Tape. Mm. Well, I know it sounds mad, but the amount of times that it's gotten out of a, a set of a hole. Well, three times yeah. we've um, had a wheel hanging off yeah. and we've had splits. And that's just got us out of a, a short term remedy before you can actually replace the suitcase. Yeah. Because you might be in a place where you can't buy a suitcase. Mm. So it's only a short term fix, but it's a really good idea. Number seven, luggage receipts. Now these are really, really important. When you check in for your flight, you will be given these luggage receipts. They're normally popped onto the back of your boarding pass or on the back of your passport. Make sure you keep them safe because it's this barcode that will be matched up. They'll stick a copy of that on your suitcase and then you'll get a copy. And then it's really, really important you keep that because that's gonna give you a really, really good chance of finding your suitcase should it go missing. Number eight, and this has been the saviour actually, hasn't it? Air tags, whether it be Android or Apple. They're absolute game changer. Yeah. It's just a little tiny button that goes inside your case and it's linked to your phone 
and when you get to your destination and we had exactly the same we were in Vietnam only one suitcase came off the conveyor the other one didn't now for all intents and purposes somebody could have come in and stolen our other case and had it away who would know well, we would know because you go onto your phone and it will tell you where your luggage is it won't tell you to within five meters or anything like that when you're in a different country but it will tell you when we went to the desk to say our suitcase hasn't arrived we could show him our phone which we did and we could still see that our one suitcase was in bangkok and we were in vietnam great they're like a locator device yeah. Uh, which you can, I'm going to put a link in the description below of our Amazon store so you can buy them. The best thing that we bought for yeah. a long time. And you'll see as well the little video that Carol puts in. When you get to within a certain proximity, it will seek it out as well so you know exactly where it is. It'll send an alarm if you press a, a button on your phone as well to help you find it. It is an absolute game changer. And when you have a conversation with, which we'll go on to shortly, about the email conversation we had with Lost and Found, they were saying we can't locate your suitcase. It's like, you can, we, we can locate it. And that was really, with the persistent yeah. emails, that was really, really crucial in getting our case back. Yes. Number nine. When you realise and get that horrible feeling with your stomach that you think the case, the carousel's going round on its own and there's no more case coming out, you know your case isn't going to arrive, go straight to the relevant airline's lost and found desk and start filling in the property irregularity report. Now this, no, that's what it's I know, called. I know. Now this is vital that you do this straight away and you make sure you have a conversation with them and you get copies and you get a locator reference number. This has been the, the identifier that we've been using uh, throughout our email with the, the lost and found in Vietnam. And as you can see from it, it's quite clear. It's got all the contact details. And this is this piece of paper that you will need also if you are going onto a cruise line, which we did with Amal Waterways, who are brilliant, uh, and Tung, the, the cruise manager, needed this information and permission to go and get our case when it was finally located and flown out to non pem on our river cruise so make sure you do not leave the airport without filling in this documentation and taking it with you number 10 <laughs> i'm just working out what uh, you're gonna have to help me out for a number <laughs> exactly make sure you inform straight away as soon as we got to the sofitel so sofitel hotel in vietnam we spoke to reception the concierge there so that they were aware we then as soon as we could because we were joining the cruise it was nothing to do with animal waterways our case going missing it was totally down to bangkok airways we spoke to our cruise manager Tung straight away in the morning as soon as we got contact with them and straight from there it they were they're able to take a bit of the stress away but they're able to converse with these airlines in the native tongue yeah. so for us it was very difficult because we don't speak Vietnamese. Vietnamese isn't great no so make sure that you keep the cruise line or whoever you're traveling with what or hotel make sure that they're totally aware of everything and show them the paperwork so they've got all the reference numbers etc etc so that they can chase it up <laughs> number 11 never travel without uh, travel insurance and it's scary the amount of people that do we've got an annual policy with our bank which is brilliant and for trips like this that being a bit of an extended trip we just add little add-ons and yeah. things don't we but never ever travel without travel insurance because if our case hadn't been found uh, obviously you need to then make sure you make a claim to get because there's a lot in a case, isn't there? And also, when you get your travel insurance, don't fib about anything. Don't fib about health conditions. Don't fib about anything at all, because if you do, it will void your insurance. Yeah. So it might make your insurance cheaper, but it'll also make your insurance Because we've spoken to people, haven't we, have said, oh yeah, but I didn't tell them that I had a heart problem again. Yeah. It's like, but if you had a heart problem now, you, you could be in a foreign country and have to fly home and it would cost you thousands, thousands and thousands, 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 thousands. and thousands. thousands. So it's not just about losing a suitcase, it's about the whole shebang. Yeah, travel so, insurance so is so So be important. truthful, get your travel insurance, you can go on Google or whatever other search engines you want to use around the world 
to get good prices or like I said we've got it through our bank number 12 oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> number 12 now make sure that when your suitcase goes missing or if hopefully it'll never happen yeah. to you because it is a nightmare make sure that you anything you buy that you have to replace make sure you keep receipts because obviously with your travel insurance they'll want evidence of what you've bought and in replacement for what was lost in your case yeah because if you say oh I've just bought a Fabergé egg and a Versace bag, yes. they're probably not going to pay out. But, no. but day-to-day items like a pair of trousers or a toothbrush or anything a shirt that you or need. anything you need. And just adding on to that, it's not quite 13, so we're going to keep it at 12. But it's always a good idea just to make a list when you're packing. And I know this sounds like a bit sort of anally retentive, but it, it's a good idea to list all the stuff that you've got packed in your suitcase yeah. so you know what's gone missing. Because we actually sat down and we're thinking like, oh yeah, well somebody said to us, well, I can all be replaced, can it? But there was like a, a, a bag that I'd had handmade, especially to put my Insta360 in, which you can't put a price on that because it was handmade. There's even toiletries. We probably had 300 pounds worth of toiletries when <laughs> you added it. It's mad when you so, think about yeah. what is actually in your, yeah. in your case and then what actually the total cost yeah. of it is. So uh, from now on, and that's what we've learned on this trip, yeah. we've now got a list with all our stuff on. So um, every day is a school day. It is. So we hope you found this uh, video useful. For us, it's been a nightmare. We got our, our case back after five days. Uh, thankfully, um, to all these things that we had in place, we're so glad we had air tags, and we're so glad we had all these things in place. And as we said, every day is a school day. Is there something that we've forgotten? Yes. So if there is, put it in the comments. Please and we, do. And we'd be very grateful. Thanks very much for watching. Now go and watch one of these videos next.